This program introduces the technology of plasma processing. Plasma is a safe, clean, and cost-effective alternative to conventional methods of polymer pretreatment, such as solvents, acid etch, corona, and mechanical abrasion. Plasma provides the unique ability to re-engineer the surface of polymers at the molecular level to conform to design requirements. The result, optimum performance, even from inexpensive materials, and maximum flexibility in design decision-making. Plasma is often referred to as the fourth state of matter. When energy is supplied to a solid, the solid can undergo a transition to the liquid state. If further energy is supplied, the liquid becomes a gas. If additional energy of the proper kind is supplied, the gas becomes a plasma. The plasma treatment process is conducted in a vacuum chamber at reduced pressure. At this reduced pressure, the bulk temperature of the gas is typically only room temperature or slightly higher, but the temperature of the active species, electrons and ions, may be as great as 25,000 degrees, obviously sufficient to cause chemical reactions to occur. When plastics are placed inside the plasma chamber, active species of the plasma, electrons, free radicals, ions, etc., collide with the polymer surface, breaking molecular bonds and creating free radicals. Polymers usually have carbon-to-carbon -carbon backbones, although other bonds such as carbon-oxygen, carbon-fluorine are not uncommon. As can be seen in this table, the energy required to rupture chemical bonds commonly seen in polymers ranges from 2.9 to 8 eV. The energies available from the activated species in the plasma are sufficient to break these electron bonds. Importantly, this effect takes place to a depth of only several molecular layers. Thus, the basic chemistry of the surface of the polymer can be modified without affecting the bulk properties of the material. Three competing molecular reactions alter the polymer simultaneously. Ablation, the removal by evaporation of surface material, also referred to as etching. Crosslinking, a connection of two or more parallel polymer chains. Activation, the substitution of atoms in the polymer molecule with chemical groups from the plasma. The effects of each are controlled through the gas chemistry and the process variables to create the desired change of surface chemistries and or surface properties. Plasma science has developed systems for processing a wide variety of products, including fibers, cords, films, and large molded parts. In a simple batch process, the parts to be treated are placed into the vacuum chamber, the door closed, and the chamber pressure reduced. Process gas is introduced, and after pressure equalization, the RF energy is turned on, creating a plasma. Active species in the plasma collide with a polymer surface, creating free radicals. These free radicals are thermodynamically unstable and reach out into the surrounding environment where they combine with groups in the plasma to form new groups on the polymer surface. Depending on the process gas employed, various functional groups are possible. Hydroxyl and carboxylic acid groups are commonly created in polymers treated in an air plasma. If nitrous oxide or ammonia is employed as the process gas, primary and secondary amines as well as amino functional groups are possible. One of the most obvious features of a plasma-treated plastic is its change in wetting characteristics. As molded, plastics have a low surface energy and a high contact angle. A contact angle greater than 90 degrees is not uncommon for plastics as molded. Unless a process gas is specifically selected to impart hydrophobic surface characteristics, plasma treatment results in a highly active surface and correspondingly low contact angle. Typically, on a plasma-treated surface, the water droplet is self-spreading. Adhesion is dependent on the surface area. Improved wetting allows the adhesive or coating to penetrate the valleys and slopes of the surface topography, providing a significant increase in bonded area. This greatly increases the strength of the bond. Here is an example of plasma treatment improving lap shear adhesive joint strength. Such improvement is not unusual, but the norm. Further enhancement of bond strength, and more importantly, permanency of the bond, is enhanced by ionic and covalent bonding. Such bonds are often stronger than the material itself.
A common application of plasma treatment is to prepare the polymer surface for improved paint or coating adhesion. The ASTM scratch test, used to determine the quality of the adhesive bond, graphically demonstrates the effectiveness of plasma processing. Plasma technology is being applied to solve difficult materials problems throughout the plastics industry. In the medical field, for example, it is routinely used to make a variety of disposable products, such as cuvettes, centrifuge, and test tubes, wettable by aqueous-based reagents. It is also used to alter the surfaces of plastic tissue culture labware to enhance cell growth. In a demanding automotive application, plasma treatment prior to encapsulation resulted in a drastic reduction of product failure from thermal shock. From electronics to consumer products, aerospace to packaging, plasma pretreatment gives designers and engineers an important new tool to improve quality while lowering costs. Plasma processing provides solutions to surface treatment problems, but not all processing equipment is equal. All plasma equipment consists of the same basic components, but until plasma science introduced its advanced plasma system design, all large reactors, three cubic feet and larger, used secondary rather than primary plasmas for treatment. Such secondary reactors are typically cylindrical with a perforated inner cylinder concentric to the vessel wall. The inner cylinder and the chamber are coupled to the RF generator capacitively, and the plasma is created in the annulus between the vessel wall and the concentric inner electrode. Secondary reactors may also be square or rectangular, wherein the plasma is struck between closely spaced electrode pairs within the vacuum chamber. In either case, plastics are treated outside of the RF field. Active species must therefore diffuse from the active plasma, the primary plasma, into the vessel work area. Along their path, they collide with other particles losing excitation and the ability to modify the polymer surface. A constantly decreasing concentration of active species results between the source of the plasma and the chamber center. Another problem with secondary plasma chambers has to do with ultraviolet or UV radiation. The primary plasma is rich in UV energy, an important consideration in the initiation of polymer reactions. However, UV energy is a line of sight radiation Thus, when multiple parts are in the work chamber and one part is in the shadow of another, a different initiation or process effect is not only possible but likely. Therefore, in equipment using secondary plasma, non-uniform treatment is inevitable. In plasma science equipment, the work area, the entire chamber, is a primary plasma. Plasma science has been awarded basic patents on the method of distributing power in a large chamber that provides uniform plasma intensity. This technology provides a chamber where plasma intensity is independent of the manner in which the parts to be treated are loaded. Each of the parts being treated is in the direct RF field and immersed in the continuously excited process gas. Therefore, treatment is no longer dependent on diffusion. Since the parts are immersed in the active plasma, all parts and all areas of the part receive a uniform exposure of activated species and UV radiation. The plasma science primary design provides uniform treatment and significantly greater efficiency, giving you the best possible finished product. Plasma is an equally effective treatment for all polymers, able to impart high performance surface characteristics even to inexpensive materials. This gives you maximum flexibility in design decision making and the ability to produce products with both performance and cost advantages. Perhaps best of all, plasma treatment eliminates the hazards of toxic chemicals. It is a safe, clean process, presenting no danger to either workers or the environment. Effectiveness, cost advantages, safety. This is why plasma is rapidly becoming the preferred treatment process in the plastics industry.